What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great hump day. i got to actually head over to the airport and get my buddy, Jet D, and my Jay Hoove sent me something. And it looks like the way it's been dropped, it's like it's an accordion box. But I want to get this opened up. So we can check and see what this is right here. Jehu, I appreciate this. Um, I want to talk. I'm, I'm actually exhausted right now, but I'm going to talk about Cowboys versus Eagles. And I'm going to put myself out there because this is kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. We've got Cowboys versus the Philadelphia Eagles in a no-win situation. You know how it's going to be. It's going to be, look at that, I love the card. Thank you for all the entertainment each week. Merry Christmas from our family to yours. Jehu plus three. Hope you feel the warmth and the wonder of all the holidays, every moment you share, every tradition you celebrate, every memory you keep. Shout out to, oh man, see just what my fat ass needs, man. Thank, oh. Pretzels. And what do we have here to go with the pretzels? Jehu, thank you so much uh, from the bottom of my heart here. Idaho Huckleberry. You mean Huckleberry is actually a thing? I thought it was, there was Huckleberry Hound growing up in the cartoons. You mean Huckleberry is actually a real berry? I'll be damned. I just learned something from Idaho. Uh oh, this is homemade because I know a ball jar when I see it. Ooh. Uh. This is. Apple pie whiskey. Oh, apple pie whiskey. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got some apple pie. How you make whiskey out of pie? How you make whiskey out of pie? I got to know how you make that. And, and Oh, man. Jay who? Shout out to you, Jay. You know what? We're going to have to have some some apple pie whiskey for, for, for the Eagles. That, we're going to give Joe Boo some apple pie whiskey uh, to go with the Eagles. Here's a funny thing. Oh, my goodness. I, I actually love this because this actually made my day because I had actually somebody compare me. Uh, th this was the thing. Sports shows on ESPN um, at NFL, Fox, Fox Sports, and guys like Cowboy Joe Boo steal content from lower number YouTube content creators. What? Are you kidding me? You're talking about me in the same breath as you are? ESPN and all those? I guess I'd have moved up then some in the chain of things. Anyway... I'm going to say, I'm going to say something here that's going to be a little bit crazy. Okay? A little bit crazy. It's the Bears! All right. What the hell? Dak is playing hell, like Dad? ass today. What the hell, Dak? Oh, wow. Put Cooper in the game. Put wow. Cooper in the game. Put Cooper in the game. Wow. Man. You going to play like ass, Dak? Put Cooper in the game. Okay, because this last time you was a man. Yeah. What was that? Okay, no, we're not going to say anything crazy like that. It, although people are calling for, you know, saying that Dak Prescott literally is ass, Shady McCoy. But I'm going to say something that's going to be crazy, and I know a lot of Cowboy fans will think I'm nuts and so on. But here's my feeling on this game, and maybe maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But I have a feeling that our Cowboys are going to show up for this game. I have a feeling they're going to show up and they're going to show off and that they're going to beat down the Eagles. Now, now of course, this is a no-win situation for the Cowboys because 
we know what's going to happen. We know what's going to happen because the Eagles, the bird brains that they are, that's right, I said it. Can we say bird brains on here? Because they are bird brains. Bird brains. It's funny because last year when the Cowboys beat them two times, you know what's funny. They said, oh, well, the first game didn't count because it was early in the season. The second game, we were resting our starters. But in a turn of events, Philly 500, it's kind of funny because when we say, well, you know, we didn't have our starting quarterback, Dak Prescott. No, 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 bro. No, bro. We kicked your ass. Well, you beat us. I won't say that the 27-17, I think it was 27-17. I'm not sure that that was an ass kicking, especially since you got three takeaways from Cooper Rush. I'm going to go out on a limb here, and I know when the Cowboys beat that eagle ass, the Cowboys beat that eagle ass, they're going to say, well, we didn't have Jalen Hurts, so it doesn't count. You know, it's funny how they're always selective in their favor when it comes out to how they feel and how they look at victories. It's the same thing that they do when it comes to, like, say, Dak Prescott. It's kind of funny that how crazy it is that the Dallas Cowboys, I think since Dak Prescott came back from injury, I believe we're 6-2. and two. I can't look at my receiving core and say that we've got outstanding, you know, that we've got one of the top receiving cores out there. I can't look at my offensive line and say we've got, you know, the best offensive line in football. Hell, we lost our best offensive lineman, you know, an all-pro before the season even started. We traded away our best wide receiver. You can look and say that CeeDee Lamb is having a great season, but, you know, nobody else on that roster really is. But yet, somehow, against teams like the Giants that right now are a playoff team, the Commanders that are, at the moment, a playoff team, the Minnesota Vikings that right now are a playoff team that the Cowboys have showed up and kicked those asses. So yes, we had a bad game against the Jacksonville Jaguar team that we don't play very often. And yes, Aaron Rodgers beat us something that he's been doing forever. Not just Dak Prescott. But when it comes to the Philadelphia Eagles, when it comes to the Philadelphia Eagles, we know each other. We know each other very, very well. And I believe in my team. We don't boys. Remember that. We don't boys. Remember. We don't boys. Remember that. And I have this feeling that the Cowboys are going to kick that Eagles ass. Because here's the thing about the Cowboys. We play down to the competition. But something that the Cowboys have had with Dak Prescott is owning the division. The Eagles, hey, they're the best backup Cowboy quarterback killers there are. But let's see what happens when we got Dak Prescott. And I'm not on this bandwagon that Dak Prescott is a turnover machine. You know, if we were turning the ball over and scoring like 15 points, i say you might have a point. But when you're scoring like 49 and 34 and 38 points and things like that, I believe the worst game we've had, I think, is 24 points since it came back, which is higher, believe it or not, than I think any of the games that Cooper Rush played. Yeah. I'm not ready to concede shit. And if you want to call me, you know, say I jinxed it, then by all means, people are always calling and accusing me of everything. So I ain't going to stop doing what I'm doing. And Philly 500, what you going to do, bro? What you going to do, bro? What you going to do? And um, I got to get ready to go pick up my buddy jet 
at the airport. In the meantime, enjoy this. I fire Howie. Fucking fire him. Motherfucker! Stupid motherfucker! What an idiot! What an idiot! Dallas has Amore Cooper and Gallup, but we don't need a receiver! Are you kidding me? I don't want Justin Jefferson, he's ass! He's stupid! I fire his ass! I fire his ass! I mean, how he's gotta be stupid! 